Um, before we start, uh, I would like to express my condolences uh, to the people who lost their beloved ones, their relatives uh, in Izmir earthquake. That sad incident deeply shaked us. Um, we are all very sorry about that. Uh, this evening we are hosting an industrial designer, a well-known industrial designer, Orhan Irmak. Um, he devoted a serious period to design the pack packaging, packaging design. I would like to give a short uh, explanation uh, about him. Uh, Dr. Orhan Irmak uh, graduated from the Middle East Technical University Department of Industrial Design as the top student of his year in 2000. During his undergraduate education, he also studied at the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology as an exchange student. He received his master's degree from Bill Kent University with his, with his dissertation entitled Understanding Changes and Future Orientations in Design in 2003. In 2004, he founded Orhan Irmak Design Company with his brother and partner Gökhan Irmak. He received his PhD degree from Istanbul Technical University on packaging design in 2011. Dr. Uh, will it be possible to mute uh, the microphones, the ones who are listening to us? Thank you. Dr. Orhan Irmak has been jury member in various design competitions and is giving speech at panels and conferences. Um, since he devoted a long period for the design, for, for packaging design, the title of uh, the presentation he will share with us is the 15 years in packaging design. So the screen is yours, uh, Orhan Bey. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, for this conference uh, introduction. Um, hello to everyone. Uh, I'm also sharing your uh, feelings uh, about the earthquake in Izmir. Um, we, I think we have to learn with uh, disasters. Uh, actually, we are in a, a long-term, uh, if we can call disaster, like we are during the pandemic, so it's part of our life, so I guess we have to learn how to cope with it and how to live with it. Uh, so uh, I'm also very sorry for the, uh, everyone uh, who lost their loves and uh, loved ones. Um, my presentation uh, entitled uh, 15 years in packaging design. Uh, but uh, in my presentation, uh, as the majority of the audience uh, is um, design students, uh, I extended the time period uh, to cover my uh, years during my uh, undergraduate education as well. So actually the story I'm going to tell about is uh, actually about, is covering about uh, 25 years. The last 15 years is uh, specifically on packaging design. But I thought that if it starts with my early uh, years uh, during the universities, uh, everyone uh, who is a Um, everyone who is a student right now may uh, find a, a close connection to, uh, to my story. So if you let me, I will start sharing my screen. Um, okay, so here it is. Uh, I hope you are seeing it properly so if i will be changing the slide so if there is any problem you can stop me to warn me because i'm just seeing my uh, screen right now uh, i will i will be talking about 15 years in packaging design but as i said i will start uh, uh, the story a little bit uh, from early days uh, of my uh, education my uh, design story begins uh, in 1995, dates back to 1995. 
where I um, entered Middle East Technical University uh, Department of Industrial Design. Um, uh, I very much enjoyed my education. It was always my dream to somehow deal with uh, design. Uh, I was not sure which uh, topic. Uh, uh, I didn't know that there are so many fields of design. Uh, my father is an architect and pilot, so I was a little bit uh, uh, informed about architecture, but industrial design was something new to me uh, until I entered this uh, department. Uh, and at the uh, third year, um, I went to Australia uh, as an exchange student. Uh, exchange programs uh, were not uh, as common as today. Uh, Australia was never part of Europe, of course. Now, nowadays, it's much more easier, not specifically today, but in the past years. Uh, so uh, Australia was a different journey for me. Uh, so I went to Australia, Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, a very far country, very different culture to me. Uh, I had many different experiences there. One of them was Koala Pet Project. And uh, somehow I found myself in the press because uh, we asked to uh, find a solution, uh, create our own problem solving. And with a student from uh, Europe, we uh, created a project called Koala Pet. Um, it, it's a sanitary pet, to be honest, and combined with koala, don't ask me how, but it was a sanitary pet with a uh, hygienic pet uh, with koala fur. And some people found it very offensive. So we were in the press because of that. It was an interesting uh, story for me because I realized that if you touch somehow the um, critical points of a society, you get positive and negative uh, feedbacks all the time. So it was my first uh, uh, first uh, experience in the press, positive and uh, in positive and negative ways. Um, it was a very interesting uh, experience to me because the country was interesting, the university was interesting. Here at the top, you see the uh, uh, university building. It's uh, centrally located uh, in the Melbourne and a very striking architecture, as you see, uh, combining with the traditional and the modern approaches. Even uh, uh, being a student in a, a building like that was uh, quite interesting uh, and quite an experience to me. And what you see on the bottom right is actually uh, my friends from there. Uh, we met in Istanbul and I'm still uh, in contact with them. So I have many friends from Australia, so I hope one day I will go back there. And this is just one of the uh, outcome of my uh, of being an exchange student, and I'm very proud of it. Um, in 1998, uh, again, when I was in Australia, uh, I won my first uh, award, first design award uh, from the Promoter Design Competition. Uh, I entered the competition and before the results were announced, I, went, I had to go to Australia because my study was beginning. And when I was there, I learned that I had to build, make a model of it. So I had to make the model there, learning water jet cutting technology and finding different workshops to build it. Uh, so from Australia, I sent my model to Turkey and I won the first prize in this competition. And with the money I earned, uh, I went to Fiji Islands for a holiday. So it was my first money uh, I earned by my own. And uh, it was an unforgettable uh, experience to me. Later on, uh, we uh, won many uh, design awards. But this unique one, this very first one, was uh, has a special place in my heart. Um, in 2000, I graduated as the top student of my year. Um, and uh, actually, my first uh, a, a professional experience after my graduation was uh, in the field of exhibit design, where uh, the, 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 the scale was a little bit different than product design. So it's more close to interior architecture or maybe some level to architecture. Uh, it was an interesting uh, experience to me to experience different uh, scales of design. Um, but uh, I also felt that uh, I had more to do uh, to, uh, to uh, extend my knowledge. 
so I entered, uh, I started my master's degree at Bilkent University in the Department of Interior Architecture and Environmental Design. And I also started working as a research assistant. But it wasn't the only thing I was doing. I started academic studies and conferences, but also I continued to work as freelancer uh, to my company where I was working uh, uh, since my graduation, this time as a freelancer, uh, again in the field of exhibit design. So the, my uh, two years at the Bilkent University was uh, pretty uh, busy, let me put it that way. Uh, while studying, also working as a research assistant, but also uh, working as a freelancer. In 2003, I graduated from Bilkent University uh, with my master's degree. Uh, my master's de degree was uh, on uh, future studies, my master's thesis, understanding changes and future orientations in design. And then um, with that degree, I moved to uh, Istanbul from Ankara. And a new chapter begins to me in Istanbul. Here, actually, the uh, 15 years begin somewhere here, uh, marked with a green star, you see. Uh, with my brother, uh, we established um, Orhanır Maktasar in that year. And uh, we made a, a research on which field uh, was um, empty. Uh, it was a strategic choice to focus on packaging design. Uh, I had many friends, of course, from, uh, from uh, industrial design background and everyone was working in a different area. Uh, we chose packaging design. There, at, the, at that time, there were not so many packaging design agencies or uh, not so many designers uh, specifically focused on packaging design. So the field was, let me put it that way, kind of empty. Uh, but uh, also uh, the reason behind was that packaging design requires uh, some kind of a, a, a background uh, study. So it was a, diff a difficult field as well. Uh, in 2005, uh, we had our very first client, uh, Burgas Alcoholic Beverages. Uh, well, there was an interesting uh, situation that in that year, the uh, Alcoholic Beverage Division of Tekel was privatized. Uh, this means before 2005, uh, alcoholic beverage production was done by the government. So there were no competition uh, on the market. But in 2005, uh, new companies allowed to enter this field to produce alcoholic beverages. So this means there was a competition. And where there is competition, there is always room for design uh, for brands to differentiate their packages. So Burka's Alcoholic Beverage was one of the companies established at those times. So, and they started to work with us. So this was one of the um, first uh, project we did with them, Burgaz Rakı. We did their logo and uh, the graphic design for their uh, labels. And we did many projects with them. Rakı was one of them, but also we did different kinds of Rakı. It was also that time where uh, the category uh, started to boom with different uh, variants of uh, Rakı. Yeşüzüm Rakızı is, was one of them. Uh, here you see a label design with an empty space in it. From the empty space, you see actually the uh, grapes uh, where it was printed to the back of the uh, uh, bottle. We did also uh, liqueur packages and uh, this story goes on. We, we, we did many projects with them. Uh, in 2006, we entered the uh, personal care and cosmetics category. Uh, personal care and cosmetics is one of the uh, biggest sectors in, uh, that uh, uses packaging design strategically. And we met Eviap uh, with their brands, uh, well-known brands, Duru, Arco, Arconam, Fox, Avi Baby. I'm pretty sure that you know uh, most of these brands. Eviap is the world's third largest soap producer. So it's a giant uh, producer uh, in Turkey. And here you see uh, some of the works we did with them at that time of the year. Duru brand was one of them. 
Here you see different uh, lookits of packaging uh, graphic designs we did with them. And also Arconam was one of the brands. Uh, so we added a, a new uh, view uh, to the brand. Uh, and uh, this succeeded uh, uh, in, in, in a huge rise uh, in their sales in the market. And here you see another uh, sub-brand uh, study we did with Drew as Drew Gourmet. In uh, 2007, uh, we started to work with uh, another uh, important category for packaging design, which is the uh, food sector. Uh, Ilker Hero Baby is, <clears throat> uh, is a, a joint venture of Hero Group and Ilker Group, so it's not fully Turkish or fully uh, coming from abroad, but it was a joint venture at those times. So we started to work with them for their packages and also we made a new uh, brand uh, work with Aviap, which was Activex. Probably you know uh, due to the pandemics, they became again very popular nowadays. Here you see our works with Ilkar Hero Baby, uh, Baby Nutrition. Uh, while working in uh, packaging design, we gain knowledge on very different categories of products. For instance, if we are working on baby food sector, we know, we know how it is categorized, what is the driving uh, element of consumers to buy these products, how we connect with them, how we present the product or the uh, reason to buy is on the packages. So with each category, we learn very different things about uh, consumers. Here you see the uh, milk, uh, and also here you see the organic uh, jar food we did at that time. And also here it is the Activex we designed at that time, uh, and now it again became very popular nowadays due to the pandemics. In 2007, it was an interesting um, milestone for us because uh, with one of our projects, we won a Red Dot Design Award, uh, and not only the award, but the best of the best uh, award in the packaging design. Uh, until then, Red Dot Design Award was uh, kind of a dream for designers, for me, uh, because uh, each year when they announce the winners, we see brands like Siemens or uh, Bosch or some car companies, so um, it was something that uh, was not really approachable for uh, designers like us, designers from Turkey, young designers like us, or a packaging design agency, which is like only three years old. But uh, we believed in our project that we did with Collection, a uh, furniture company, you know it. Um, uh, we asked to design a uh, packaging design for their newly launched tea glasses. And you may know this uh, packaging. Um, it's uh, an interesting uh, interpretation of the uh, tea glass. Until that time, almost all of the tea glasses uh, mostly sold at Pasha Bahçe stores were more or less similar. But this one, this particular one, was signed by an architect, uh, Faruk Malhan. So it was a first ever designed uh, tea glass. So that's why they asked to have a, they asked us to have a very special packaging design for this very special product. So we worked a lot on it, and um, it was a, a, a great success for us uh, to won the Red Dot Design Award Best of the Best. Uh, here you see some details of the packaging and uh, it was a real milestone for us because uh, from now on we started to believe in uh, ourselves that we were uh, successful in this category in the field of packaging design. Uh, in 2008 some uh, new uh, awards uh, came to our office. Uh, one of them was a good design award in Design Turkey but um, also we won a Pant Award uh, for Art Caprol Home Line and a new category uh, also uh, intro be introduced into a new category um, which was Home Textile 
Uh, and uh, since then, we are still working with uh, Touch and Linens brand. So it is a very, very old uh, client of us. Uh, here you see uh, a new uh, interpretation of our design. Uh, we won another award with this one uh, because it was focusing on the secondary use of the packaging. While we removed the outer uh, wrapping paper, then the box became uh, something that you can use, that you can personalize. So you don't need to throw the packaging, uh, but you can uh, have a secondary use for it. Uh, and this is the Pant Awards winning design we did with Linens. Um, it, uh, Arzu, when we met with Arzu Capro, she said all of their designs, actually she's, as you know, a fashion designer, but they work together with Linens to create the uh, bedding designs. And she said all of their uh, designs has a story behind. So we decided to turn the uh, textile packaging, home textile packaging, into a storybook where you open the lid of the box, you see a pop-up bed. So the three-dimensional bed approaches to you. So it's not an ordinary showing a, a, a two-dimensional photograph of the home textile, but then you became like a storybook, opening a storybook from your childhood, and you see the bed in three-dimensional. So it was a different app, uh, contribution from industrial designer to a uh, very traditional uh, packaging design on home textile. And in 2008 until 10, um, some further awards uh, we received. Uh, Ambalaja Yıldız letter uh, was one of them. Design prize nomination was one of them. And also we were accredited for True Quality. It's the very first government supporting branding program. Uh, we were the very first packaging design agency accepted in, in this uh, program. And here you see some uh, other works dating at that time, around 2010. Uh, this is another area brand, Arcoman. Um, here you see uh, from uh, food sector, Sutash Ayran, which is still uh, on the shelf with the same uh, look like that. And here you see some other projects we did. Uh, this is Arconam uh, for uh, women during their pregnancy. Here you see a different lid on the right of the pack so that when it is on the shelf, it also tells when you have to use this product and how it functions. So it's not a graphic design, but it's more like two and a half dimensional design for packaging. Um, two years at Industrial Designer Society of Turkey uh, was a great experience to me. I worked as the Secretary General of uh, Istanbul branch of the Industrial Designer Society of Turkey. And uh, I also completed my uh, PhD in uh, Istanbul Technical University uh, with uh, Professor Özlemer. Uh, and uh, my uh, thesis was published uh, by Packaging Manufacturers Association as a book. And uh, during that time, I was also very busy as invited speakers to conferences and uh, jury members at many uh, international uh, uh, design events. Here you see uh, the book published. It's my PhD dissertation. Uh, and also a, a visual from my uh, jury membership uh, at Kiev. Uh, I also met uh, many uh, opportunity, found many opportunity to be visible on the uh, press. Uh, I believe this is part of our responsibility to be visible with your work on the press. Uh, it's, it's kind of our marketing. Uh, we don't do uh, any traditional marketing. But this is uh, actually more suitable, I believe, for designers to be visible uh, on the press. Uh, well, in the second part, uh, I will more talk about I will more uh, talk about uh, Orhaner Maktazarim because until now it was more or less like uh, my own story. But here now I begin a story of a packaging design agency. Uh, in agency, uh, I'm not alone, as you may guess. Uh, I, in the beginning of my presentation, I told that uh, we started with my uh, brother, uh, it's Gökhan Ermak, he's the general director of our agency. Um, I'm responsible for the design, uh, for running design business, but he's responsible for 
anything other than design. So uh, running a, a business is something different. And to be honest, it's something where uh, we designers do not know much. So his background is in business administration. So he, he knows how to run a business. So it was a, a good opportunity to uh, combine our strengths and uh, create our uh, packaging design agency. And we are around 20 people in our agency. Uh, and uh, mostly it's about uh, that there are uh, creative directors, uh, industrial designers, illustrators, print specialists. Um, everyone in our agency ha um, has a different background, let me put it that way, which is an uh, essential part of uh, packaging design. Um, as you remember, I said in 2004, we established our agency. And here you see a photograph from our uh, working uh, office. Uh, at the back on the shelves, you see many examples from all around the world. Before pandemics, we were uh, able to travel a lot and collect many packaging samples to, uh, to get inspired or sometimes to show the producers, to convince them how to producers. But we, we love, uh, from the photo you can see that, we love working uh, together. Uh, and today we are not only serving clients in Turkey, but also we are exporting our design service to many neighboring countries like Azerbaijan, Egypt, or United Arab Emirates. We are working with brands abroad and we are selling our design service. So we are creating packaging design, which are sold on the uh, shelves in different countries. Uh, and what we do as a packaging design agency uh, starts with uh, research, comprehensive research. In every project uh, we start, uh, we make a research on the shelves about uh, how is the competition? What are the competing brands? and uh, how are the brands on different uh, sales point, points, like discounters, like premium quality products? What are the innovations in terms of uh, packaging material? Or uh, what are the design trends in the category? Here you see, here you see four different brands in the same uh, product category, but they are all different. So we, we try to understand uh, what uh, what is the uh, uh, new thing that we can discover in the field or what is untouched in this category to create a different point for our uh, brand working with. Uh, in, if industrial design is required, uh, then it starts at the early stages of our design service because industrial design is uh, takes quite a long time as compared to packaging graphics. And uh, it also requires a huge investment for the brands uh, to create a new uh, industrial design for their packages. So if required, we start with industrial design. And then comes the logo design. Uh, as you know, uh, since the beginning of my presentation, I'm talking about all these brands. And if it's packaging design, brand means a logo. And with the logo, they express themselves. So that's why if a new logo is designed, again, it's, it's the very early step of packaging design. Uh, the majority of our work covers brand architecture and packaging graphic design. Um, it's a very powerful tool for brands to communicate with their uh, clients, to tell, them, to tell them what the brand essence is, uh, what the product is about. What are the benefits of this product? They need to convince their clients to buy these uh, products on the shelf with the, with the graphic design that we create for them. Uh, here you see a, a cart door uh, traditional desserts packaging. And uh, the, a part of our design service is art direction for photography, especially if it's food packaging. Photography it plays a huge role on the uh, on the outcome. So that's why uh, while designing, we also give a brief and art direction to the photographers about what we want, uh, what we expect from the uh, photograph. Illustration is yet another issue that we handle in-house because as you see here, if we dream about something crazy that we want to see on the pack or in the communication of the brand, 
um, sky is the limit if if you uh, follow the uh, illustration route so that's why uh, we do it in-house uh, in our agency uh, and uh, the final step of design service includes the in-store uh, point of purchase materials like shelf talkers floor graphics anything you see on the shelf other than packages communication materials uh, to convince the consumers to pop up to show them that there's a new brand on the shelf or anything like that uh, also covered in our uh, design service and finally we prepare a detailed print file and we archive them uh, this is the reason why we have many print file uh, preparation specialists in our uh, agency because uh, we work with different materials like aluminium glass printing on flexible materials printing on paper they all require different uh, detailed uh, skills and knowledge so that's why we have a print specialist in our uh, agency who are uh, making the final touch to turn into to turn the designs into a producible product and uh, since the very beginning uh, of our journey in uh, Orhan Irmak Tasarım we received nearly 100 awards now uh, and uh, I mentioned some of them uh, already uh, and this makes us proud because all of them were won with the real packages uh, that you see on the shelf uh, I want to uh, mention this part, uh, which is the uh, uh, Global Local Branding Alliance. We are part of an alliance. Uh, four years ago, actually, we established this alliance with uh, six other packaging design agencies all around the world. Uh, we are representing uh, Turkey and the Middle East, but uh, Apart from our agency in Istanbul, uh, GLBA members are from New York, Berlin, Shanghai, Moscow, Sao Paulo, and Johannesburg. Here you see on the map, we are covering actually the vast majority of the whole world with these uh, partners. Uh, what we do is um, we come uh, together uh, two times every year Actually, we were coming together. We couldn't come together this year due to the pandemic. So just like this conference, we met, we made our meeting online. Uh, but what we do is we share our knowledge. We share uh, design trends, but also we do uh, create work together uh, for uh, different uh, levels of uh, clients. Like um, our partner in Berlin, uh, is very much working on pharmaceuticals. Uh, Bayer is one of their clients. And if their client want to launch a, a product in Russia, they work together with our partner from Moscow to have a meaningful uh, project for their client, client. That works well with the uh, original company, but also that works well for the target uh, consumers. So this alliance provides us this kind of a rich uh, knowledge, uh, trends, but also a global approach on packaging design. Here you see some of the brands we are working with. Um, to be honest, most of them are multinational companies. Uh, this wasn't a, um, this wasn't a um, choice of us. But as we grow and as we uh, gain experience, uh, our path with multinationals, uh, come, we come together with them and they started to ask us to work together. But to be honest, um, it's, uh, we, we are very uh, happy to uh, share the experience we gain with multinationals, uh, with the local producers, with the local companies and local brands. And we are always proud to help the local brands to grow and became a, a local and a regional or even multinational brand. Uh, now I will talk about some of the recent projects from our agency. 
And actually, this will be the uh, uh, final part of my presentation. Uh, here you see some uh, colorful images. Let me put it that way. That actually uh, you probably have seen on the shelf before. But I will try to very shortly uh, talk about their um, uh, background stories. Uh, I wanted to share with uh, Lupo uh, because this was somehow became the hero of the pandemics. As you know, uh, during the lockdown, uh, they became uh, very popular as we see it uh, on the hand of a man uh, very in a very rushed time buying from the shop. So uh, many people learned the brand. Uh, it, it, it's one of our projects. Um, we actually completed this project before pandemics, but uh, we are happy that we created a very strong and uh, image that is easy to remember. Uh, when people saw it uh, on that photograph uh, holding man a Lupo pack, everyone now uh, remembers this uh, pack on the shelf. This is actually one of the aim of every pack. So to, to have a strong visual identity that you can uh, remember whenever you go to shopping again. And here, uh, another project that wasn't as lucky as Lupo. The reason is this project we uh, created for Tadam, another uh, very old client of us. It was a travel edition. So uh, they were supposed to sold in the uh, airports. But just think about the uh, airports now or uh, air travel now, it's almost impossible. So it was a very luck for these very unique uh, designs, uh, designed specifically for the airports. But one brand wins uh, during the pandemics, one brand loss. Uh, so it was a, a, not a, a good uh, time for this uh, brand, unfortunately. But thanks God, they were started to sell before the pandemic. So we had chance to see these packages on the shelf uh, at the airport duty free. Here you see uh, a Knorr uh, brand um, seasoning. Uh, it, they uh, wanted to work with Arda Turkmen on the Turkish uh, market. So it was a complex project because it includes uh, food photography, food styling, but also uh, uh, includes uh, a celebrity photography and how to use it on the pack. It also covers the brand architecture. Knorr is a very well-known brand globally. So they have some guidelines on uh, how to use the design elements on the pack. So it was a very complex project and recently launched and you can see on the shelves now. Here you see the Nestle um, giving an offering category for Bayram, Nestle 1927. Uh, the date is actually the date of the first factory of Nestle opened in Turkey. So they wanted to carry this as a brand uh, and uh, extend the category in giving an offering category. And this is the design we created with them, uh, with the image of the factory at the background. Uh, here you see uh, from uh, drinks category, Pınar Kefir. Uh, as you know, healthy drinks are getting more and more popular every day. And this is the uh, design we created for Pınar brand, the leading uh, dairy brand of Turkey. Here you see again a very new uh, design recently launched. Uh, it's uh, Hacı Şakir, uh, one of the oldest brand of Turkey dating back to 1889. Uh, and this is a very special series. Uh, it's the traditional bar soap with a, a special design on it, where we inspired from uh, traditional uh, Turkish tiles. Here you see a, a snacking pack. Uh, snacking is also a growing category. Here you see olives. It's only 40 grams, so there are like 8 to 10 pieces of olives inside. But there is a stick on the very top uh, of the pack. Once you open it, you have that stick and then you start to eat uh, the olives inside the pack on the go or whenever you feel hungry. And here we did uh, ice cream packaging for Algida, a Unilever brand. Uh, it's um, it's targeting a young consumers, but also it uh, carries the many of the uh, uh, design trends. 
uh, from flat design approach to very trendy colors, but also communication of how many colors on it and where the ingredients are coming from. Uh, so they are all the design trends we are talking about recently in our conferences. So this one particular uh, example uh, carries all of these uh, trends on it. And here you see uh, from the frozen food category, uh, uh, the, the uh, super fresh brand is the uh, leader of the category with many different products on the uh, frozen uh, category from pizza to potato to fruits to desserts to meatballs and everything. And this is one of the recent projects we did with them, uh, stone oven uh, pizza. Uh, and this is a rather a local producer, Talioğlu, uh, from Balıkesir. And um, the floor uh, packages were very boring uh, once we started this project. But although the company was not a multinational, they were bra uh, brave enough to uh, accept a very new approach to their logo and also packaging design. So we had a very uh, fruitful result with this company. Uh, we sometimes uh, do uh, seasonal packages. Here you see one of the examples we did for, with Toblerone chocolate. Here you see the uh, New Year special packaging we did for them. Uh, food, drinks, and uh, cosmetics are the top three category for uh, packaging design. But anything that is sold in the pack is actually uh, has a potential for us. So this one, uh, Women's Lakewear uh, brand, Panty, is a client like that. Uh, we did many projects with them. We did the brand architecture and we defined all of the different categories uh, packages for them, but also we extended our uh, relation with them to design the shop interiors and the communication system within the uh, uh, shop. So when you go to a panty shop, you not only see, see the packages, but also some communication materials uh, in store designed by us. This is a, a Mika Bonibon uh, project, chocolate uh, project. We do many chocolate projects and uh, <laughs> we are happy that our clients are sharing uh, new projects uh, once they are launched and we are happy to eat all of them. So this is one of the finest part of uh, working on the field of packaging design. Uh, once the Mika brand, this is a, actually a, a um, combination of two brands, a global brand of Mika and a well-known local brand of Bonibon. So we combined it uh, well together so that it's also uh, carries the uh, brand clues of Mika, but also uh, clients remember the Bonibon image from the old times. Here you see another category. Uh, it's the um, paper products. Here you see the toilet paper and uh, very different uh, products uh, related in the category. And it's the, uh, also launched very recently uh, in the uh, micro stores. Now you can see on the shelves. Another category other than uh, food and beverage or cosmetics uh, is the uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, we are working with Abdi Ibrahim in this category. And here you see the uh, supplements, uh, the vitamins uh, from this category. Uh, the brand is U Plus, and we uh, aim at uh, giving a natural look and feel uh, to the consumers. And uh, another very uh, uh, um, exciting category, uh, working with baby images is always fun. Uh, we are working with Jambebe in this category, baby diapers, and you see the uh, new packages that hit the shelves very recently. Here you see um, Bize Mutfak, a, a, a brand from uh, Japan, Ajinomoto, uh, it's their brand. Uh, and uh, here you see the uh, grain soup mixes, where on the image you see the half of the pot is the soup photo, but the other half, at the bottom is actually a window. So that through this window, you see the mixes within the packaging. 
because nowadays consumers are more and more concerned about seeing what is inside the packages. So this is again an approach that we uh, created for them. And uh, this is uh, which you may know better as a young audience, the Nagar, Algidas Nagar. We designed it last year and hit the shelf uh, very uh, early days of this year. Uh, here we inspired from the uh, comic books uh, to create a striking uh, visual identity which will take the attention of the uh, young consumers. Um, that was the last project of my presentation. Um, if you want to see more about what we do in our packaging design agency as Orhan Irmaktasarım, you can follow our uh, social media uh, Follow us on social media platforms, whichever interesting for you. Uh, so here you see uh, the, our addresses here. And uh, with this final slide, I will uh, stop sharing and then uh, try to answer your uh, questions if you have. Uh, dear Orhan Irmak, thank you very much for this uh, presentation. It was um, very inspiring and perspective widening. Uh, before allowing uh, our students and our faculty to address their questions to you, I would like to share something uh, with you and with the others. Mm -hmm. um, that is this one, this packaging design. Well, before um, talking about the packaging, I would like to start from uh, the inside of this product. Um, it is um, a perfume bottle um, and the fragrance was designed by Celus. Um, well, this, this project was realized within the framework of agreement between um, Celus and Bahçeşehir University, uh, Faculty of Architecture and Design, Department of Industrial Design. And it was a successful example of uh, university industry collaboration that was realized in 2018. Um, so first we implemented the workshop uh, with our students and with, together with Celus, uh, together with Ahmet Yider from Celus. Um, and this perfume model was uh, designed by uh, now a graduate of our department, uh, Ek Gül Duruka. And uh, the original fragrance uh, was exclusively created by Celus Fragrance Academy for the ceremony of a specialized event, the Stars of Export, in 2018. At that point, when uh, we collaborated for the creation of this product, we didn't know that it will not be ended like that, but uh, Orhan Ermak Tasarım will be also asked to complete it or make it completed uh, with its packaging design. So um, actually, this is a nice example of a sequential collaboration that we didn't know when we started that journey with Celus. But we were privileged uh, with the design of this product with its packaging as well. So would you like to talk a little bit about this packaging as well? Yeah, of course. Um, Celus is, a, um, is one of our clients. Uh, they are actually uh, one of the leaders of uh, fragrance and uh, aroma uh, production in Turkey. And we are making many uh, packaging design with them, but also some uh, visual identity works with them. Uh, Ahmed Bey uh, came to us uh, with this uh, glass bottle that is designed uh, together uh, as a project with your university. And yes, and um, asked us to create an altar pack for it so that it will be uh, it will be suitable to give as a gift uh, during ceremonies as you mentioned or sent to somewhere uh, so it has to be uh, drawable but it has to reflect the uh, uh, gift 
feeling of the uh, product. Uh, so once we take it, uh, we find it very interesting, the, the, the approach of the uh, designer. So we uh, try to express this visual identity of the bottle uh, in the outer box. So that's why there is a, a rectangular hole at the, uh, at the uh, cover of the pack. Yes, and here it's it's all exactly the shape of the bottle. So even uh, before opening the bottle, you you have a, a little bit of idea of what you will be seeing uh, after opening the bottle. So it was a, a surprising uh, detail on the pack. So it was also a very um, nice example, as you said, of collaboration of different levels of uh, design uh, stages. We did many projects with uh, famous designers, but this one, this particular one, was also uh, for me one of them. It's always uh, nice to work with different uh, designers, and this was one of the examples. Thank you. Uh, we didn't have any chance to express our gratitude for it because we were not uh, at the beginning face to face for it. So we would like to thank you as well to complete that design. It was our pleasure. Thank you. Uh, now we can let uh, our students ask questions to you or if uh, the faculty members have some questions to direct to you. Uh, they may raise their hands and we will allow uh, you to ask the questions. Uh, well, I don't know how this part functions, but pro I, I assume you will uh, let them, right? Yes, yes. Well, okay. there's a hand okay. at the top of the screen and when somebody raises uh, okay. the hands, we can see it and we let them to speak. Okay, well, uh, at this point I want to say, uh, um, for the faculty members of course, but uh, for the students, uh, please feel free to ask anything you have in your mind uh, without any limits and don't be shy, uh, so please everyone can feel free to ask whatever they want to ask. Well, maybe they are just thinking about what to ask. I may take my uh, sequence to ask a question as, as the starting person. Okay. Uh, well, um, when you look at the content of your uh, master's degree dissertation titled as the future studies of design, how do you how do you see your estimations that you did at that time with the conditions that we have today? <laughs> well, um, I in my uh, master's degree in my dissertation, I um, show the uh, parallel approach of future studies and design. Uh, in future studies, uh, it is believed that there are many uh, future scenarios. There are not only one future. There are always many different scenarios of the future. And these are the probable uh, futures, the expected futures, the unexpected futures. So it's always plural. That's why they use future studies, the futures as a plural form. And I think it's somehow uh, similar to design approach because there we are uh, creating solutions for problems that that may not exist now. Or we uh, assume some problems that may happen in the future and we try to solve these problems from today. So there's always a future uh, approach in uh, design projects as well. Uh, and what I liked uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the uh, conclusion is that uh, whatever you dream of about the future is actually something that you can design from today. So if you dream of a bright future, and if you design the steps to approach that uh, bright future, then it's uh, actually uh, approachable. You may end up with that uh, beautiful scenario of the future. So uh, if we think about positively about the future, and uh, if you think about uh, how design can uh, provide uh, fruitful solutions to contribute this bright future, then uh, we as designers can become part of this uh, good scenario uh, of the future. Okay, thank you very much for this. For you this are answer. welcome. And I see the raised hands. Uh, let's 
start from uh, the list. Bursa Attila. Uh, yes, yes, you can Hello. ask your question. Um, do you think being a designer in Turkey is hard compared to other countries? Yes, uh, I do. Uh, I was one of the few lucky students who had chance to uh, have their uh, study at a, a campus like Middle East Technical University, uh, designed by a well-known architect. Even the building itself, the Faculty of Architecture, is a piece of art. And being inside is actually teaching you something about the uh, environment, about the proportions that you see. And uh, some of the uh, uh, design uh, students uh, studying uh, abroad, uh, having a chance that uh, seeing uh, monuments around, well-designed buildings in their cities, uh, well-designed systems, uh, this became actually uh, part of their education. And in that sense, I think in Turkey we are um, less fortunate uh, because the, the designed environments that we live in, that we have our studies, are not as good as the countries, uh, at least uh, some of them. So this is a, a, this something unfortunate, uh, and that's why uh, I, I mean, this, this thing will be not suitable for this today, but I suggest everyone to travel around the world. At least try to make uh, your way after the pandemic to travel a lot, to see uh, different places to uh, uh, fill this gap that you that is missing uh, for students in Turkey. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Shevay uh, Mumju. Yes, hello. Um, hello. Welcome to our uh, university screen, let's say. <laughs> Uh, what do you pay attention to when designing the packages of vegan products, I wonder? Okay, uh, it's a trending topic. Uh, it's recently trending in Turkey, but it's already a, a huge market in uh, developed uh, countries like Europe, uh, United Kingdom or uh, United States. Uh, we also... Uh, started to ask, uh, the, the, our clients started to ask us to design vegan products. Uh, for instance, we did a falafel packaging for Superfresh. Uh, we uh, care about the, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, consumers' uh, special conditions and special expectations. Uh, when we talk about vegan products, we are talking about, uh, let's say, some kind of an educated consumer. So they care about what's inside and what's not inside in the product. So the packaging uh, design for a vegan market has to be more informative. Uh, so it has to uh, have a more clear uh, directions uh, on uh, uh, about the product, how to cook it or what's inside and what's not inside. So let's say it's uh, more informative than uh, exciting. Uh, because they have to differentiate itself on the shelf. Uh, these kind of uh, consumer groups are looking for particular products on the shelf. So that's why those products have to stand up on the shelf and tell their stories and tell their uh, uh, special conditions to the uh, consumers. So that's why they are more uh, uh, informative as compared to the rest of the products we design. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, uh, Mary Alchin is uh, waiting to ask a question now. Uh, hello, sir, again, welcome to our university. Um, I would like to ask that uh, what's the biggest obstacle that you faced or your team and you have faced in these uh, following years till here? Uh, in the past? Yes. Uh, well, uh, once we established Orhanel Map Design, the main obstacle we had was that there wasn't an uh, example for us as a packaging design agency that we can take as an example for us. Uh, in United Kingdom, in United States, the history of the packaging design agencies dating back to 1950s 
so, but in Turkey, the story is not like that. So we didn't know how to deal with the packaging design projects at once. Uh, how to start a project, how to divide the project in the different pieces, what kind of uh, backgrounds we required in the service. How to put a price on our design service even was a question mark for us. We didn't know how much packaging design service cost. Uh, so it was a, a very new uh, journey for us uh, that we had to learn every stages of our service. It's not only design, as I said, but it's also who we need to require in our agency, how to create a budget for it, uh, and how to finalize the product, what is the photography and what is the role of it. So we had to learn everything. But this big obstacle was also a very big opportunity for us because it also means that until our agency, no one cared about it. So we were almost one of the pioneer in this category. Uh, we studied a lot. Uh, this is also another reason why I choose uh, packaging design in my uh, PhD studies. So I studied very well. I studied very well the, the field that we were entering. Um, we made the research on it. it. It was an obstacle that we didn't have any good example for us, but we turned this obstacle into an opportunity for us. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Any more questions? I may ask another if there are no more. <laughs> Please. Well, um, especially the series of uh, uh, gourmet series, Duru, and mm -hmm. um, the packaging of the creams. I don't remember the na uh, brand name. Um, Arconem, maybe. Yeah, yes, Arconem. Uh, well, uh, other than the product that it is addressed to be used, they inspires me to eat them. <laughs> True. Well, it seems that you also consider the experience of people by uh, playing with the expectations of uh, their emotions by through their perceptive channels. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you use design to play on this topic and how do you compile the data related with the decisions that you make on the design of those packaging? Mm -hmm. uh, there are many uh, issues uh, on packaging design. Uh, talking about those packages, for instance, shower gel is uh, very close to uh, perfume uh, as a product category. You buy the uh, shower gel not uh, just for cleaning yourself in the bath, but also it's about the smell. Just think of how you buy a shower gel. You open the lid, you smell it, and, and then you decide on which uh, product you want to buy. So in this particular product, the, 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 the scent we used on this, uh, the, the company our client used in this product was very close to edible products. So it was caramel, it was a uh, strawberry uh, cake, uh, cheesecake smell. So that's why we had to somehow combine these two categories. And uh, it's uh, for packaging designers, uh, it's a great opportunity that we uh, work in different categories. For instance, uh, we work with um, women leggings. So we go to, uh, uh, consumer research, we listen about how uh, women approach a product and another project is, for instance, traditional butter that the same woman is using in the kitchen. So that there's always some kind of a, a, a overlapping areas that inspires us. So it's very important to knowing the consumers and also uh, it's a great opportunity to use our uh, knowledge in different categories in uh, categories other than that we had experience. So this is a very um, interesting part of uh, packaging design and it's also uh, uh, give us great opportunity to know very different parts of the society about their uh, consumption habits, what they do at home, how they decide on uh, buying products. 
Thank you. Well, You're you welcome. made us hungry with those <laughs> explanations. <laughs> Any more questions? OK, I don't see any raised hands anymore. So um, thank you very much for everything, uh, for this very nice uh, presentation and your experience that you shared with us. Uh, Minio Ojan, do, do you have anything to add for uh, the other instructors? Thank you so much. It was such informative thank you uh, and thank you for uh, your all of your uh, contribution uh, and your positive uh, attitude uh, in our architect design talk series uh, thank you for this uh, opportunity um, I also thank everyone who spent their like one hour uh, listening to me uh, I hope you also enjoyed this time. Uh, um, I started my uh, story to tell during my uh, uh, university time so that you can maybe uh, find more relation to yourself to create your own story. Uh, I wish everyone good luck in their uh, journey and I hope everyone will have an uh, opportunity to tell uh, in their uh, later time with, to share with other students just like I did. So I thank you everyone and also thank you uh, for the um, uh, department for inviting me. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Uh, we have a small tradition. Uh, we uh, donate um, five small young trees uh, in our guests name uh, so uh, now you have uh, five young trees uh, for, from Tema oh, uh, thank you so very much very kind of you. you so I think we're ending the session thank you to all our, uh, our students and our faculty staff joining us um, have a good evening thank you very much <laughs>